शहर चेना डाक्तर भीड़ छड़िए दूरे गड़े उठे एक प्रतिष्ठान जार नाम विश्वास बेंगल फेथ हस्पिटल So here I would like to discuss now about uh, a very uh, rare tumor which is a very large brain tumor which we encountered recently. This is the month of March. As a neurosurgeon, we have studied more than 100 plus of brain tumors. But in practice, we encounter only 10 to 15 kinds of brain tumors. We operate and some patients go for radiotherapy depending upon the stage of the tumor. In the month of March, this baby makes you see the CT scan and it showed, you can display the CT scan. So it showed a large frontoparietal right sided hyperdense tumor with calcifications. So we asked for MRI like the scantoscope study and that showed mixed intensity tumor with uh, intratumoral calcifications and it is an extraction tumor, it is not infiltrated the brain. Still, whatever MRI says, but there could be some additions below the dura with the file surface. So always we are ready for the attachments. And under microscopic guidance, we used to separate the attachments and remove the tumor. But here, see, the size of the tumor is very large. If there is attachment, there will be huge attachments to the brain. So, it will be a long hour surgery, pain taking surgery, and risk involved surgery, since there will be a lot of attachments. Coming to the topic discussion, what is this type of tumor? There will be multiple differential diagnoses in the So, out of which some important differential diagnosis could be. It could be calcified meningioma. Meningioma, we cannot fit into another category of meningioma, that is any plug meningioma. Because there are three grades of meningioma. So, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. Grade 1 tumors are very, maybe you can say good tumors. And which has another subtype, seven subtypes. Did not discuss how about all these things. And there are grade 2 tumors, the another three subtypes, and the grade 3 tumor is a subtype subtypes. In which this can be a atypical kind of tumor, that is grade 2 meningioma, or it could be something like meningioma in block, which means involving the maximum area of the dura and involving the adjacent bone, which is hyperostosis. But here, there is no much of hyperostosis. So it confuses us that it cannot be a meningioma. But it could be calcified meningioma, very typical calcified meningioma. What is the other differential diagnosis? It could be a dural metastasis, solitary area of metastasis. Then we went ahead for HRCT provides CCT abdomen to rule out the other areas of any cancerous group. But there is no cancerous group in abdomen or the chest. So again excluded, metastasis is excluded. Next we went for, when we are thinking about, it could be uh, literature such better. It could be something called as solitary fibrous tumor arising from the tumor. These are the possibilities. Solitary fibrous tumor arising from the tumor. These are the possibilities. Right. Now, we discuss there are multiple other differential diagnoses like oligodendroglioma usually arises from the brain parenchyma but there is a possibility that it can arise from the dura also it can be an intracranial hemangiopericytoma so these are all the possibilities glyosotomation so these are all the possibilities but every uh, tumor what i am speaking about has some excluding criteria we have excluded it because it's not fitting the calcification part is not to those things. Now, how do I this one? It's a large tumor. So, with CT scan guidance, localization of the tumor margins has been made and an 
cranial tummy adequate to expose the tumor on all the sides has been done then dura dura tummy i removed the dura all around means insects to the dura all around the tumor which is 0.5 cm away from the tumor to prevent any tumor seedings at the second at the second because histologically you cannot see the tumor during the microscopic so you need to remove 0.5 cm since you don't have a proper treatment if it is grade 1 tumor you will not do that but if it is a grade 3 tumor then you have to do that so suspecting it's a grade 3 tumor so you can have to remove the incestual organ to your own for the now it comes to the main part below this large tumor is there any other things to do so if there is any other things to do so you can remove the blood supply is it only the dural blood supply or is the blood tumor taking any blood supply to the adjacent vein this needs to be so under the microscope like a 360 degree mobile view i was rotating the microscope 360 degree all around it took more than one hour to see all the cells what all the things so the pile attachments which were there has been incised properly but unfortunately or possibly you can see there are no attachments much below the dura and dura so only there are some pile attachments which is not removed clearly and in a period of around 3 hours the whole tumor is out and the operation is completed with good success post start post operative location improved and see and initially we had some Website, but post operative that can be done is also important. Now we are keenly waiting for the histopathology report. Thank you very much. And uh, this case is very very bad case for me because I consulted many neurosurgeons beyond the neurosurgeons beyond 60s age, but they have never seen such a kind of large tumor. Yeah. One more thing I need to say. We also very uh, enthusiastic to see about the weight of the tumor because our skull capacity is around 1,200 to 1,500 grams of weight. You can see that how much is this tumor weight? So it's about 150 grams, 150 grams. So uh, now it's my uh, time to project this case in NSSI, which is uh, our early conference neurosurgical society. project this case in the conference as well as to publish in the journals thank you very much thank you big golf faith hospital baba bhat shastho nagori bhartwan